Hi all, my name is Michael and I'm going to show you the ultimate PlayStation 3 Yellow Light of Death fix. I believe this is the only true way to permanently fix your Yellow Light of Death and uh, I have found that it works for me. OK, to start with, what you need to do is strip down your PlayStation 3. You will find that there are plenty of videos here on YouTube to assist you doing this and this is the parts that I have eventually got down to. OK, so you can see there the selection of tools that I needed to do it and that is the pile of parts once you have stripped it down. OK, so the part that you're looking for is the main board here. As you can see, the areas which need attention are there here, here, here and here. These are the areas that suffer from the heat problem when they overheat, get too hot and it cracks the solder causing the yellow light of death. There are many ways of fixing it, but this way is the only true way to do it. As you can see, I still have some heat, heat compound on there. Not gonna worry about removing that. Uh, I don't need to do that for the way that I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So, check your motherboard. Make sure that you know where everything should be on that side. Also, check the motherboard on this side. We don't worry too much about, about this because this board is actually more sturdy than you imagine. Okay, so here we go. The only true fix. As you can see those areas there and what needs to have the attention paid to. Once again, it's not just there. Right, first of all, to fix this permanently, take your motherboard and what you do is you find an area suitable for it uh, the, air, the best place that I've found to put this to when you're trying to fix it is actually in the bin. Pop it in the bin and don't even waste your time trying to fix it. Uh, I have tried a number of times to try and fix my PlayStation 3 following all the guides on uh, YouTube that are available from reflowing, from refluxing, etc. etc. I have then found, after putting it back together, playing it for probably an hour, the uh, problem has happened again, yellow light of death, and actually I'm getting fed up with it. Especially when, if you go onto Google, look at your internet, you can find that you can actually buy a brand spanking new PlayStation 3 for £148. So, my advice to you is not to bother trying to do all these fixes. All it does is waste your time, waste your money, and then you just end up being very, very disappointed. So thank you for watching my Ultimate Yellow Light of Death PlayStation 3 fix. I hope it does help you in making the decision just to put your hand in your pocket and buy a new one. Thank you very much and goodbye.